nerves and the spinal cord. How do you think? Your brain is divided into different areas, each one with a different job to do. The part of the brain that controls your thoughts is in the front of your brain called the frontal lobe. Nerve cells in your brain called neurons pass signals to each other and are connected to the rest of your body. Your brain can tell where the signals are coming from and interprets the messages like my feet are cold or I've pricked my finger. What does your brain do? Your brain is your body's control center. Everything you do, see, hear, feel and taste is controlled by your brain. Your brain also controls things like your breathing and how fast your heart beats as well as all your movements. Everything you think, dream and feel comes from your brain. How big is your brain? Humans have the most complicated and heaviest brains for their size out of any animal. Brains are wrinkled which save space in the skull. If the wrinkles were stretched out, the brain would be three times bigger. An adult's brain weighs around 1.3 to 1.4 kg. A newborn baby's brain is about 350 grams. Other animals may have bigger brains than humans, but they are also very much larger animals. Although an elephant's brain weighs 6 kg, a whole elephant can weigh over 9 tons. In contrast, a rat's brain is only 2 grams. How does your brain send messages around the body? Your brain is connected to the rest of your body by the spinal cord, a huge nerve center which is inside your backbone. Smaller nerves branch off the spinal cord to all parts of your body. Some nerve cells send messages from sense organs such as the skin, ears or tongue. These are called sensory neurons. Other nerve cells called motor neurons carry messages from the brain to your muscles telling them to contract. Many of the large nerves in your body contain sensory and motor neurons. Does your brain go to sleep? Nobody knows why we need to sleep. It might be that the body and brain need some time to rest and without sleep we cannot think properly. While you are sleeping, your brain is still active. We all have about five dreams each night, though we only remember a dream if we wake up in the middle of it. When you dream, your brain is as active as it is when you are awake. What is a stroke? A stroke is a form of injury to the brain. When a stroke occurs, the flow of blood to a part of the brain suddenly stops, thereby injuring all the structures connected with that part. There can be many reasons for the occurrence of stroke. A blood vessel may have ruptured causing a hemorrhage. In another case, a clot may form within a blood vessel. There may be a spasm of an artery. A blood vessel may have got closed because of a small particle floating in the bloodstream. The causes of stroke are many but the resultant effect is the same. It damages that part of the brain 
through which passes the nerves that control our voluntary motions, our sensations of pain, our temperature, touch and vision. These damages could be fatal and the person could become permanently disabled. Why are some people right-handed and others left-handed? The brain is made up of two halves. The left side of the brain controls the right side of the body and the right side of the brain controls the left side of the body. Most people are right-handed because the left side of the brain is used more than the right. About 10% of people are left-handed. Each side of the brain is also used for different activities with the right side being more artistic than the left. How many nerve cells are there in the brain? There are more than 10 billion nerve cells in your brain. When nerve cells die, they cannot be replaced. However, if your brain is damaged, some of the cells may take on other functions. What do nerves do? Your body contains a network of nerves that reach all parts of your body. Nerves are like bundles of tiny wires that carry signals around the body. Some nerves receive messages from the brain which then tell your muscles to move. Other nerve endings pass signals to the brain from a sense organ such as the skin, eyes, nose or tongue. Nerves also protect you from danger by making your body react before the message even reaches your brain. This is called a reflex reaction. For example, if you touch something hot, your nerves tell you to move your hand away before your brain even registers that you have touched it. How long is the spinal cord? The spinal cord is the main connection between your brain and the nerves around your body. It runs down your back and is protected by your bony spinal column. In men, the spinal cord is about 45 centimeters and in women, it is 43 centimeters. The cord is shorter than your spinal column and ends at the top of your lower back. It then branches into smaller nerves which run lower down the spinal column. How fast do nerve signals travel? Nerves are like bundles of tiny wires that carry signals around the body. Signals are carried along the nerves to and from all parts of the body and inside the brain too. There are around 30,000 million nerve cells in your body which can send signals at speeds of up to 267 miles an hour which is as fast as an aeroplane. So if you cut your toe, it only takes a tiny fraction of a second for the nerve signals to travel from your toe to your brain. What does the spinal cord do? Your spinal cord is a bundle of nerves which is about as thick as your thumb which connects your brain to the rest of your body. It is protected by your backbone which are rings of bone that the spinal cord runs through. Smaller nerves branch off the spinal cord and carry messages to and from your brain and body. An injury to the spinal cord can cause paralysis. Once damaged, the spinal cord can never be fixed. Which is the longest nerve in your body? The longest and largest nerve in your body 
is the sciatic nerve. This nerve runs from your lower spine through your buttocks to your lower leg. Sciatica is a nerve pain people sometimes feel from irritation or pressure to the sciatic nerve. What are cranial nerves? Cranial nerves bring information to and from the brain through the skull. You have 12 pairs, one set for each side of the body. Some of these nerves are connected to the sense organs and are needed for balance, smelling, tasting, hearing and touch on the face and scalp. Others control muscles or are connected to glands or internal organs such as the lungs and heart. How long are the nerves? If all the nerves in your body were laid end to end, they would measure about 47 miles.